happening, y'all? What's good? Good to see us mixed up up in here. This is good. It look like some of Dr. King dream in this piece. I, uh, I got a confession to make. I miss protests. Uh, <laughs> not for the reasons y'all think. They just, they good. I ain't gonna lie. Protest is a young person's game. You, yeah, under 35, you get out there, you be like, I wore the wrong shoes for this. My feet are on fire, but I ain't got the energy for these rights. I don't know, I don't. I miss protests because they're a great place to pick up women. They are, bro. It's so easy to pick up women at a protest. You ain't even gotta have no game. All you gotta do is yell out whatever she's yelling out, and you in the dough. You know what I mean? She could be standing up being like, burn all men. You'd be like, yeah, baby, burn all men. I don't care, I'm straight anyway. I'm here for you. You think it's a coincidence that Martin Luther King had all them protests and he cheated on his wife? That is not a coincidence, bro, that goes together. Some of them protests, he wasn't even angry. He was just horny. He was just like, we gotta get the Mississippi, fam. There's some vulnerable women down there. Gas up the Buick, Abernathy. <laughs> Got civil rights meat to give. I don't mean to make light of what the people did. I don't. People did some brave stuff, bro. They used to walk 20, 30 miles for social injustice in southern heat. I don't even check my mail if it get too hot. You know what I mean? I be like, I'm gonna find out who I owe when the sun go down, fam. Pay that light bill at dusk. They will walk 20, 30 miles for social injustice, bro, in suits. They would get dressed up. They be at the store like, yeah, bro, I gotta get my civil rights on in this mug. Gotta get a hat and everything. And nobody was sweating. This was pre-Gatorade. What they... <laughs> Where were they getting them electrolytes from, fam? That's crazy. If you look through the history book, it's not a sweaty black person in sight. Everybody's hydrated and in form and shape. Just hydrated off freedom water. That's wild, bro. 20, 30 miles social injustice, I couldn't do it. I couldn't have been no leader back then. We'd have walked 10 blocks and I'd have yelled out group pick. I'd been like, come on, y'all look determined. <laughs> not walking down there, bro. Not happening. I'm trying to like figure out a way to get my life together. I really am. It ain't going to work out. I'm not like, I don't listen enough. You know what I mean? Because life is tricky, bro. Life would just be hitting you with stuff. Life would hit you with, life would hit you with stuff. You should have been accepted a long time ago. Yeah, stuff so you should have been accepted a long time ago. Like I have finally accepted the fact that I'm gonna be short. I've accepted that, bro. It took a while. I was waiting on this growth spurt for years. And it was like a bad father just left me at the bus stop waiting, feet swinging, never showed up. I've accepted it, bro. I've accepted the fact that I'm gonna be short. But since I've accepted that, I've also accepted the fact that I hate tall people. I've accepted that right now, bro. If your knees can touch the tabletop that you own, I wish severe arthritis in your life. I do, bro. I hope it catch you on the way to your car. You're just like, ow! Oh, go on without me. I don't like you talls, I don't. No, you just up there with your thoughts and your optimism. <laughs> just living life. You can't have low self-esteem if you tall. You can get a woman on accident as a guy. Just walk through a crowd of people and be like, look at this little bitty lady on my leg right here. I'm gonna save that for later. He just around here. I don't like your talls. Y'all disrespectful. Paul's a disrespectful, bro. You know? What are you thinking? You know, women always want a tall dude. Want a tall husband. Well, guess what? You ain't gonna be married long because tall people die soon. You want a long marriage? You better get a short king. I 
don't like you talls, bro. You're disrespectful. You don't empathize with short people pain. You don't. You don't empathize with short people pain, bro. My man right here, I know you. You don't know the pain. You don't know what it's like to have to put your car in park to put a gate code in. You have no idea what that is like, fam. You know how many times I've almost torn a tendon trying to get my food through the drive-thru with my foot on the brake? I'm like, yo, reach with me, please! Come on, reach with me, please! I'm like, man, no, I'm not gonna open this door up. You better extend. I'm like, Taco Bell gonna pay for this MRI. They are gonna pay for it, fam. All of this is burning. This should not be burning at Taco Bell. The other end should be burning. I'm small, bro. I never can pay cash. I gotta pay with a card every time because I need them extra inches. I need that. I don't like you talls, bro. Y'all are disrespectful, bro. So disrespectful. Y'all don't empathize with our pain. You know what else you know what y'all don't know, bro? When you small, don't nobody take your anger seriously. <laughs> no, when you short and you mad, it's just hilarious. It's just, it's just funny, bro. If I got stomping mad right now, y'all be like, ha ha, look at his little feet moving, look at his feet. Pump, pump, little man. That's an eight and a half. I bet you it's an eight and a half. Cops don't even shoot short on all black men. They just shush you. They just be like, shh. <laughs> You going to jail. <laughs> Y'all do what she doing. She clapping. That's what you should be doing. When you hear something good and original. Hey, how go? I don't like being short. I don't like being this person. I've been trying, I've been trying to coast through this life. I've been trying to figure out what it is I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. My parents didn't do a good job. Y'all can look and see. A lot of y'all been going to therapy. Just stop. Stop. I'll tell you who fault it is. It's your parents' fault. You don't have to pay $85 an hour to go look in the living room and see. My parents messed me up for sure. They didn't have all the tools that they needed. They didn't handle no situation in my life properly. Nothing at all. I remember I was 19 working at Applebee's, man. I'm crushing it, by the way. Okay, home of the original two for 20. Don't ever forget. I'm at Applebee's crushing it. But like two tables a day kept asking me, hey man, are you gay? I'm like, I don't know, I'm 19. You know what I mean? Like, I just started doing this. I don't even know if it's good. It's just around the corner. You know what I mean? Like, it's all proximity at this point. So I go in the kitchen, I ask them, I was like, man, I'm tired of hearing this. I go in the kitchen, I ask them, I was like, hey, is there anything about me that make y'all think I might be gay? It was like, yeah, a lot of stuff. <laughs> I said, all right, to hell with this. I'm gonna go find out my truth. So I go home and I watch a gay sex scene. That's what I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, cause this, this was my thinking. I was like, yo, if my meat move any, <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going in the closet, I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna be super gay. Old people don't have to ask if the waiter's gay. They're gonna be like, hey, we want the gay waiter. That's what we want. We like the way he do refills, so. So I go home, I watch the scene. It's like 29 minutes, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's a lot of research. It was a lot of research, yeah. I'm the first person that's seen porn until the credits. I'm the first person be like executive produced by I'm like they did a good job with the set they did a real good job so man I'm done I closed the laptop I'm done I'm finna go in the kitchen give me something to drink so I'm there I'm like whoo me didn't move so I'm not gay but I was very impressed I was super impressed I didn't know it was that many positions fam I thought it was like one or two but they were spinning guys and flipping people I'm like man look at this core strength they displaying up in here bro no wonder, generally speaking, gay dudes in shape. You gotta be ripped to give and take all this meat, bro. You can't be chubby smashing in this world. So I get ready to get something to drink, cause I'm parched, you know what I mean? I watched it with my mouth open the whole time. I was shocked, I was like. I mean, he taking all that. What I didn't know was my dad was watching me the whole time. He's watching me. 
the whole time. Now he can't he can't address me regular style. He got to do it his own original way. So I'm in the kitchen in the refrigerator getting me something to drink. He busts from around the corner. Is there anything that you want to reveal to me? <laughs> and I'm in there playing around. I'm like, man, we little on eggs right now. You know what I mean? We we need to get some milk up here. Boy, boy, cut it out. Cut the crap out right now. Cut it out right now. I saw what you was sitting there watching. Go ahead and come out the closet. Don't come out, because I know you gay. I know you gay, because you watched the whole thing. I said, player, you must be gay too. You watched it with me, fam. You was... We both got something to tell mom later. Like... Hey, mom, we gay. Together? What the? Who am I with and who am I raising? They damaged me. They messed me up. It ain't they fault. They was young. They ain't know no better. They were just out there making mistakes. It's fine. I'm good. It's fine. I found a way to maneuver through this life, try to make myself better. Just started hanging around different people. Hang around different people. Hang around white people, you know? Yeah, I like hanging around white people because they pay for stuff. <laughs> Some people say that. You got a lot of white friends. Yeah, because it's free to be with them. I've never split a check in my life with my white friends. I love them, man. You know my favorite other white, my favorite other white people is rich white dudes. That's my favorite other people. I love rich white dudes because I like the way they express themselves because they don't. They don't express themselves. What rich white dudes do is when they feel something, they chuckle and then they comment on how they should be feel. So if you make a rich white dude laugh, he'll just be like, huh, hilarious. But he won't actually laugh. Like, be reading something be like, hmm, peculiar. No laughs is coming out. I'm jealous of that, fam. I'm jealous of that. I wish I had that confidence, because if I did, it would help me a lot in my life, right? Like if I'm like if I'm hooking up with a lady and she's already disappointed, you know what I mean? And she go to lift my head up, she'd be like, hey, are you done? I could just be like, ha, finish. Like I ain't gotta deal with her emotions. <laughs> Like, you want a sandwich? She like a sandwich? I'm like, yeah, you're gonna need something to fulfill you. I didn't do it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's my advice, bro. If you finish fast, you don't gotta lay there and embarrass me. Just get another skill. You know what I mean? <laughs> Lady be laying there. She like, is this it? Is all I'm gonna get you? Like, uh-uh. Also, juggle. Let me go get my bowling pins and show you what I'm really made of. You almost there yet? <laughs> my trick is sandwiches, bro. I'm done. I'll fix you 12 cold cuts. <laughs> He was like, his sex was trash, but he a master chef. I'll tell you that. He, he put provolone on the ham and cheese. He should, he should be on the next season. Love Rich White Dude, bro. I love them as friends, bro. I like them. I like their, I like their expressions. I like their enthusiasm. Because it ain't loud or big. You know what I mean? It's real subtle. Rich White Dudes get excited. They just get on their tippy toes. You ever see them do that? Ask them anything. You're like, hey, bro, is that your car right there? Oh, yeah, got me a new truck, buddy. That's my truck right there, dude. <laughs> Got a lift kit on that sun gun or anything. Check it out. Don't confuse that with the white guy dip. When they get passionate, that's when they dip. You be like, hey, bro, you like Tame Impala? Dude, I freaking love Tame Impala, bro. <laughs> oh, dude, they're freaking great. You want to get with a white dude, you ain't got to ask no questions. Just look at his calf muscles. You be like, oh, yeah, we're going to get some shoes out of him later. He got a whole lot of this in his life, whole lot of this. White friends now, love my white friends because they clutch, bro. They come through for you at any moment. It's like, hey man, I'm drunk, come pick me up. I'm drunk too, but I'm on my way. You know what I mean? <laughs> Put your seatbelt on. Put my seatbelt on. We're driving off a cliff right now. Put it on. I wouldn't have came if I didn't believe in myself. <laughs> like white women, some of my favorite other women right now. Yeah, like white women. They don't like me back, so to hell with them, man. They don't like me back. And it's cool, I'm fine, it's fine. I get it, I get it, you know what I mean? I'm not proper interracial dating hype, you know what I mean? I'm not a prize. No white woman's excited, like, ooh, I got me a small black man. Like, nobody's like, got me a chia brother, girl. Chia brother, you gotta water me with Hennessy, and then I grow into the man that's gonna make you a single mother. That's what I do, you know what I mean? 
Trey, I'm seven months. That's my cue. Let me bounce. Good luck with your wig, sweetheart. No, they don't like me. They don't like me. They like they black dudes. Tall, athletic, preferably handsome. That's not my gifts. I'm a sandwich maker. You know what I mean? And I used to be jealous. I used to be super jealous about this. Be so upset. I'm like, why do you like black dudes big like that? Why do you like black dudes big like that? And like black dudes big like that, in case they racist white dad gets out of line, they got somebody that can check them. You know what I mean? Dad be upset. Who'd you bring to my house, Sarah? Who did you bring to my house, Sarah? And the dude get out of the car. She be like, Dad, do you really want to deal with Devontae? Right? <laughs> and he see them chests and them shoulders and everything. He be like, nope, I think love is love, baby. That's what I think. <laughs> Devontae is awesome. You guys are great. My name's Trey Tessie.